Hello everyone, welcome to part 5 of Angular e-commerce video. Uh, so in this part, we will be uh, working on the order page which, is be, uh, which will be our last page. After ordering, like we will be showing on page like thank you for ordering and all like that kind of page. So let's begin now. So let me create a component first. ngg for generate c for component inside component folder. Let me give order page. Okay, our order page has been created now. Oh, this is our order page. Okay, first let me set our routing for this. So I'll go to app routing module.ts first. So below, let me give a path order page component order page component. Okay, uh, I missed a T. Okay, let me save this. So after submitting, uh, I have to go to the order page. Uh, so let me give a router link first here. Okay, I'll give I'll begin here. Router link order page. Okay. Uh, let me work now. So let me uh, add to cart uh, item. Let me click on checkout. Let me give some dummy data. Let me give a mobile number. Okay, when I click on order, we are going to this page, order page. So uh, on this page, I'll be working now. Let me statically, uh, let me close everything and statically design it first. So we will be making use of bootstrap card as well in that. Okay. Mm, let me take a div. Class equals to card. Another div I will take. So let me give a style for this. border radius 200 pixel height 200 pixel width 200 pixel um, background F eight A five margin zero auto uh, image tag okay let me make use of image tag SRC equals to so I have an image link I'll be giving in the description. Let me copy this. I'll be pasting it here. So let me close my image type. Let me give a style for it. Width 188 pixel. Okay, the stick mark has come. For success so let me make use of h2 type order has uh, big s as i used to it has placed successfully Again, strong tag. I take a strong tag. Thank you for 
shopping with popular e-commerce style I'll use margin left 32 pixel so again a h5 tag I'll be using h5 kindly pay amount uh, let me use style margin top 20 pixel margin left 40 pixel color green inside this strong tag I'll be using I have used a strong tag dollar some dummy data here I'll be writing during delivery and for this color I'll be using blue Let me make this uh, everything proper now. Let me use and NB SP for spacing. Okay. Let me go to the CSS part. Dot card. background white padding 80 pixel border radius 4 pixel box shadow 0 2 pixel 3 pixel C8 D zero D eight display inline block margin zero auto top fifty pixel left twenty seven percentage. Okay, uh, now I'll be making this dynamic. Let me go to order component of TS implements on init. Okay, ng on init has come, edit has gone. Constructor. Private API API service. So API service got auto imported here. Okay. So what I have to do after when we order and when we come to this page after three or four seconds, automatically I have to go to the home page because after order successfully is done, we are showing the main page again. Like that, I have to use. So I'll be making use of set timeout function code, right? So let me make use of set timeout. Set set timeout function. This is after four second. After four second, I have to go to the main page. This I'll be doing. But before that, let me make the value dynamic, which is coming from the API. Two 
total amount coming from API. Okay, let me create a variable. So variable name will be uh, total amount public total amount. It is this is the same that in the last video I have shown how the value is coming. Here also same the value total value I'll be showing you. Initially it will be zero. This dot total amount equal to this dot API dot calculate price. So this calculate price is the same function which is there in our API, which is calculating the value and giving the total value for us. And we have been showing in this variable total value. So let me interpolate this. Total value. Uh, let me see. Uh, total amount it is. My bad. Okay. So I'll test and show you once again. So I'll add to cart first. Then click on checkout. See, four ninety nine dollar it is. See the amount which we are calculating from the API is coming here. Kindly pay uh, for $99 during delivery. So perfectly everything is working for us. So let me go to my component.ts, order page component.ts. What I said you after four seconds, I'll be automatically going to the main page. And after main page, I don't want to keep this calculation here. I want to make everything as empty. Okay. So after four seconds, this dot router okay before that private router okay router got auto imp auto imported this dot router dot navigate Okay, let me show you. Add to cart, check out. Order and see after four seconds, it will go automatically. But after four seconds, I have said you, I, I have to make this empty as well. Because it has been order, already ordered. The same thing, uh, the removal item I will be using. Removal item from the cart which, which is there to make empty. Automatically I will call it in the and join in it. This dot API dot removal items. Okay. Let me show you last test now. After this, we'll be completing our project. Okay. Add to cart. Okay. Uh, wait. Let me add some more product and show you. Add to cart. Add to cart. Add to cart. Okay. Hmm. Three one four seven. Com. When I order, okay, the amount is coming, and after four seconds, it is going, and our cart is also becoming empty. So, thank you for watching this video. Please do like and subscribe. Thank you. If you want a source code, please do comment below.